Thank you, everybody, and welcome to Creating a Referral Machine. I really appreciate everyone taking the time today to get on this webinar. Uh, let's uh, start with some preliminary, some preliminary materials here. Um, what is this program? This program is designed to help you, if you're, whether you're an entrepreneur, a sales rep, or a professional, attorney, accountant, coach, uh, give you insights, ideas on how to not only create a productive network, but then also empower that network to help you generate more and better referrals. In this program, this is what you're gonna come away with, three things. One, we're gonna talk about building a network, not just any network, but a productive network of relationships. And then in addition, we're gonna teach, train, educate, and help you empower those relationships to both identify and talk about opportunities for you. And then we're gonna help you expand, deepen and maintain those productive relationships so you can have them over time, year after year after year. This program has one simple obje objective and one objective only, to help you get more referrals from those in your network. More referrals leads to more business. Before we move on, I want to share a little bit about myself, what qualifies me to be on this call, to be helping you with these things. Um, I uh, started my career as a tax consultant with a very large public accounting firm, Coopers and Lyburn. I had attended The Ohio State University. Uh, in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, got a law degree and a graduate business degree from there, an MBA. Um, and from there became a tax consultant uh, with Coopers and Lybron. Um, I was there for six and a half years. It's a good place to work. It's a great first job. It certainly wasn't for me. Uh, I didn't want to spend my life reading tax court cases. Um, and so I decided after about six and a half years that I was going to leave and to go into private practice. Uh, and get into some other business ventures, other small business ventures. And uh, when I left and went into private practice, I tell people a funny thing happened and the funny thing that was nothing happened. I had no idea how to get clients. Uh, I started my career in an organization, in a setting where business and clients were just handed to you. Um, and that's not how it works in, in the real world. So I spent uh, four or five weeks just trying to figure things out. And uh, somebody um, at that time suggested that I get into a tips club or a leads group. I had no idea what they were talking about, uh, but I joined a, a weekly meeting that helped people learn about each other and exchange referrals. Um, and this was in February of 1995. Um, and things started to change from that point forward. Um, I started to learn how to generate referrals. Um, I got very involved in that organization, and I'll make a really long story short. About three years into it, uh, I ended up buying out the organization. Um, I don't practice much law anymore. Um, I spend my days helping entrepreneurs, sales reps, and professionals become more successful, more successful through networking, um, essentially, essentially creating a referral machine for themselves. Um, and we do that through uh, my organization, Amp Spirit Business Connections, which I will touch on at the very end of this. Um, so through that process, I have given numerous speeches on professional networking. Um, I've written a number of books on professional networking and how people can become more successful, uh, empowering their networks, tapping into the people around them, um, and uh, doing uh, webinars just like this to try and help people who are in various professions, uh, people who are in transition, people who are in big companies, uh, people who are small businesses, um, what I call entrepreneurs, sales reps, and professionals. So let's get into this. I appreciate your time and attention. I'm no doubt if you're on this call, you are ambitious, you want to be more successful, and you're savvy. And you know that referrals are the most effective means of creating this greater success. Why? Uh, referrals are like free money. Um, you're not having to pay to advertise. Um, when you create a referral machine, you are essentially having people out there become your sales force. Uh, and in a way, it's an unpaid sales force. 
because these people are out there and they're wanting to help you uh, because of who you are and your relationship with them. Um, and so it does, in, in essence, become free money. These are people who have gotten to know you, and we'll, we'll touch on all of this. Um, but that's really kind of what you want to have happen. Uh, the best place to be in business, in, really in any business, is the point where your new clients are almost exclusively generated, generated from people in your network, whether they're friends, colleagues, strategic partners, even former clients and existing clients are sending you prospective clients. At this point, you've effectively created a referral machine. Just because you want this referral machine doesn't mean that you get it. There's a process to it. It's a three-step process. And we're gonna cover this in detail through the remainder of this webinar. You start by establishing relationships then within those relationships, which is essentially a network of people, you empower them to not just understand what you do, but how to talk about it. Then finally, you remain in continual contact to appropriately guide and readjust the process. Yes, this takes work. It's a simple process, uh, but there's ex the execution is involved. Uh, it takes time, it takes commitment, and it takes discipline. But in the end, the rewards far outpace the effort. So let's go over each of these steps in detail. First step, establish relationships. The foundation upon which you'll create this referral machine is the relationship you have with others. This is probably the most important part of this program. People do business and what I want you to remember is that people do business and refer business to those that they know, they like, and they trust. In other words, those who get the most and best referrals are simply those who have the best relationships. And the reason they have the best relationships is that they're widely known, widely known highly liked, and implicitly trusted. Think about this for a second. If you're married, You've got a spouse. How did you meet that spouse? How did that relationship come about? Somewhere along the line, they got to know you. They got to like you. They got to trust you. If, you're, if you have kids, you got a babysitter. Where did that babysitter come from? Somewhere along the line, you knew somebody, you liked somebody, and you trusted somebody, whether it was a neighbor referring somebody or somebody that you know from within the community. It's how you found a babysitter. Um, think about clients. Where did your clients come from? Clients probably have been referred to you. Um, it was a situation where somebody knew you, they liked you, and they trusted you. How about the referrals you've made? It's been a situation where when you're handing off one of your good clients to somebody to be serviced by whomever, it's somebody that you know, you like, and you trust. So when we talk about establishing relationships and we talk about the know, the like, and the trust, um, it's, it's important that I emphasize that this is really just human nature. This is not something that I have invented or really anybody's invented. It's just been part of the human fabric. Um, so becoming known, liked, and trusted is very important. Um, so this is all going to beg two questions. One, with whom should you establish these relationships? And then even more importantly, how do I go about establishing these relationships? Let's talk about who to establish relationships with. Um, as to whom you should establish relationships, there's no magic or secrets. They're all around you, but we can put them into three separate categories. First, start with the people you already know. Why? The people you already know, presumably already know, like, and trust you. Far too often when people embark on creating a re referral machine and developing relationships, they become fixated on people they've never met before. Think about it. You know tons of people right now, friends from the community or school, former colleagues, existing or past clients. This represents a treasure trove of raw material, raw material with which to work with. Uh, there was a study done a, a number of years ago at an executive MBA program 
where they asked people to dig back into their former contacts. Go back into your former contacts, uh, come up with a problem you're working on at work. Executive MBA uh, students always have something that they're, uh, they're, they're taking these programs on the weekends and during the week they're working. So they told these executive MBA students, uh, what's a problem you're working on at work? Um, what's the challenge related to it? And now we want you to go into your, your list of contacts, people that you might know, whether it's on LinkedIn or somebody who's uh, uh, in their contact uh, manager, their Outlook, um, and identify a handful of people that you haven't talked to in three years. Um, and so they all got this assignment and, and went about it. Uh, and what they found was that these people that they didn't know or that they, excuse me, that they knew but had lost contact with were a great source of help for them in solving their problems. Uh, and what they've uncovered is, is the reason for that is, is that these people that we lose touch with, and we all have these people in our lives, um, don't just stand still. 